Now, I'm sure by now we all know and love Manny a lot, you know, uh, to me, he's my favorite character in the entire Diary of Wimpy Kids series, and for good reason. And mainly, he's the root of the problem whenever it comes to any issues that Greg has in a lot of these fanfiction stories. But, you know, uh, deep down, you just know that he's he's a, he's a good kid, right? Well, not exactly in this story, because uh, Manny joins the right alt. Now, why would he do this? I mean, it's Manny. That's just a question answered right away. It's Manny, of course. Why wouldn't he join the right alt is the question we should be asking. I'm really wondering how Manny even came to know what the right alt is. But let's hop into the first page of Manny joins the right alt and see how he came into contact with these guys. The weirdest thing happened today. I was minding my own business, watching TV, when Manny came up to me and shouted out a word that I never expected him to say. Liberal. I was shocked. He's three. How does he know what a liberal is? I know kids these days are more vulgar than previous generations, but I didn't know they knew shit about politics. Manny later told me about how blacks made up 13% of the population yet commit 52% of all violent crime, and then I knew I had to tell mom about it. But at first, she wouldn't listen to me. Mom, 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 mom. Mom didn't believe me when she heard what I said. Greg, what the hell? She thought I was just trying to get Manny into trouble and started yelling at me for over 20 minutes. She said that Manny was a sweet little boy who could do no harm to anyone. And that me knowing these racist views made me a delinquent. I'm sure I would be grounded if Manny hadn't said this in front of her. Then she knew where he got the right wing ideas from. And boy, was she pissed. Migrants are worthless, Bubby. Okay, I mean, we've only knew this Manny for a couple of pages and he's already saying some pretty crazy stuff. Now there's either two people that have told Manny about this stuff, and I'm leaning towards Roderick, because i that's just something he would do. He's a little, you know, a little on the edgy side, I guess you could say. Now, Frank, though, we got to put him into the equation as well. We don't really know a whole lot of his political stance, so, I mean, it could be him, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go with uh, Roderick being the one to tell Manny about this stuff. So last night, Dad left Fox News running, which kept Manny up. Manny decided to watch it, plus some shows hosted by white supremacists, and that's why he's got all these radical conservative views now. When dad got home from work, he got a huge talking to from mom. She ranted on how the stuff Fox News preaches is not healthy for children Manny's age and would ruin him for life. She even went as far as to ask if he'd like for Manny to become a domestic terrorist who kills gays and minorities. The look on dad's face said yes he would. What? What, what, what's going on with Frank now? He, he wants Manny to do this stuff? What is going on so far? Jeez, man. Okay, let's continue. I tried to play some Twisted Wizard, but learned Manny crushed the disc and left a note saying, that's what you get for supporting Israel, bubby. And guess what the little shit's defense was? I'm only three. Ah, yes, the classic defense of Manny. I've never said anything to him about Israel, so I don't think he knows what he's talking about. I plan to get my mind off it by going to Rowley's house to play video games with him. He's been having a difficult time at home after coming out to his parents as gay. He said his dad legitimately made plans to send him to Chechnya for conversion therapy until his mom stopped him from doing so. It's the least I can do after all this shit I put him through. Just then, Manny found me and said this. Oh shit, yeah I don't think I'm gonna be able to say that. Fuck, maybe he does know what he's talking about. Saturday, June 21st. Okay, so apparently when Manny told me to tell Rally to prepare his anus, I guess he meant that he was gonna put that tinfoil ball where Rally was sitting when he wasn't looking in order to hurt him. Yikes. Manny's obsession over the right has gone too far. Everyone in this family agrees, except Dad. Dad's encouraging his behavior by saying some bullshit like he's becoming a good patriotic boy. Yeah, a good patriotic boy who literally made an attempt on my best friend's life. We're sick of it. So me, mom, and Roderick are making plans to try to get him to stop. I'll update this with what we have come up with. Wednesday. We all pitched in ideas to get Manny to stop. There were lots of bad ones, but mom had one that made me proud. Take a trip to the most liberal place in the US. Of course, we all agreed where we would be going. California. Dad doesn't get a choice. He's coming with us no matter what. God, this better work. 
We leave in a few days, so I'll pack my stuff now, including this journal. All right, let's see if this little trip that the Hefleys are going on are going to help Manny with his uh, little issue that he has going on. Truth be told, this shit is not going to work whatsoever. Monday, June 27th. The car ride with Manny was, as you'd expect, tiring. Mom had to pretend to agree with him so he wouldn't scream. Why are there still non-whites in America? Sickening. Haha, <laughs> good one, Manny. But then his rants got more and more repetitive, and even dad got tired of it after a while. That's a first. Seriously, I'm amazed. We must secure the existence of our race in a future for white children. I just hope this trip to California works. I'm fucking done with Manny, and I'm pretty sure Roderick is this close to killing him. I won't be able to write as much when I'm there, so I'll just summarize once we get back. Okay, I'll admit, I'm honestly very surprised that Roderick is not the one behind this. Uh, he actually seems to be one of the ones most annoyed about Manny going on about, you know, saying some pretty out of left field or right field, as I should say, stuff, uh, which is, again, very surprising. It's kind of weird how Frank is the one saying all this stuff, but maybe there's a plot twist where Roderick is secretly the one behind it. But anyways, let's, let's find out. As we made our way back to Plainview, I noticed an unexplained white sheet. It wasn't there when we packed, so at first I was confused, but then I stopped caring. When I heard Manny rant about blacks, it hit me like a fucking truck. Manny attended a KKK rally. Where the hell did he get time to attend a KKK rally? And how did they not notice a three-year-old? I had so many questions. Oh right, the trip. Yeah, it failed. Manny said the n-word to a black kid and almost got me killed. <laughs> we need to find another way, I guess. This morning, I heard intense keyboard tapping coming from my room. I knew it had something to do with Manny, so I checked. He had trashed my room and was on my computer. I checked my search history, and apparently he was browsing slash poll slash dot wow. His messages were also kind of alarming. From what I could gather, he called for the extinction of gays my <laughs> minorities and women. Manny wants an all-white male country. Creepy. But he's a toddler, so I don't know how he plans on putting this into action. Monday. I haven't written in here in a while, but I have a good reason. A few nights ago, Manny walked into my room, looked me straight in the eye, and said, Your friend isn't going to be so innocent much longer. Why, hello there, young man. Manny dragged Rowley out into the middle of nowhere, and he got, he got kidnapped. Holy shit, okay. Uh, luckily he wasn't hurt, and the guy got arrested, but the experience fucked him up terribly, and he isn't allowed outside the house anymore. I haven't seen him in a while since then. Holy shit, man, what is- what is Manny doing? <laughs> it's not that serious. He doesn't have to be doing all this stuff to rally. Tuesday. On the night following the rally incident, I decided to go to bed early. I just wanted the day to be over with. I have no way to communicate with my best friend, and I was just not in a good mood. But as I drifted off to sleep, Manny came into my room, stood up on my bed, and said this. Did you think what I did to Rally would be all? You're dead wrong, Bubby. Prepare yourself. I don't know what the hell he's planning, but it worries me. But like I said before, he's a toddler. He can't do much. Monday, September 21st, 2019. That previous comment didn't age well one bit. And that seems to be the end of the story. I searched Manny Joins the Right Alt Part 11 and nothing seems to be showing up. So it looks like Supremo Mimo didn't finish the story, which is unfortunate because I think we were all enjoying that story a lot and would have liked to see what Manny was up to and what that big plan of his was and how he even carried it out because like Greg said multiple times, He's only a toddler, so I wonder how the hell he managed to pull whatever he pulled off. Now that is the end of the story, there are no more parts. However, we do have Roderick's perspective on Manny in this story, so I feel like that would be pretty interesting to read, so why don't we just jump into that. I've never really written in this thing aside from some notes for school, but our family's gotten so fucked lately that I think I should. Lately, my youngest brother has gotten obsessed over the alt-right which is kind of fucked up. A three-year-old shouldn't be saying white is right or whatever. Is he saying hell? What the fuck? <laughs> it's stressful for me and my other brother to have to be in the middle of this. He may be a manipulative dickhead, but I understand why that is now. My dad never even cared about any of us until Manny started his alt-right thing. By that, I mean he only cares about Manny. Please, just let this be over soon. I have no idea how much I can handle. 
Okay, I honestly feel kind of bad for Roderick. He's not a complete fucking douchebag in this story. He just wants to, uh, you know, see his toddler brother not be a complete fucking weirdo <laughs> and saying all this alt-right shit when he's three years old. So, I don't know. He seemed like he was talking about stress and everything. I don't think we've seen Roderick, you know, that human before. I don't know what's going on with him, but yeah. It, it sucks that the story ended early because I'm sure all of us would have liked to see what Manny ended up doing. But that is the end of the story. Maybe Supremo Mimo finishes the story. If he does, of course, you guys know I'll make a part two. No idea if they'll be finishing this story, but yeah. It definitely would be really funny to see how this all ended, but that's the end of the video. I am still working on Greg and the Mafia. It's in the works. It's coming soon, and it's going to be an absolute fucking banger of a video. So I'm really excited for you to see the end result of that. But that's going to do it for me. I hope all of you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Diary of Wimpy Kid fanfiction stories. Also, make sure to leave the bell on for notifications whenever I make a new video. You don't want to be missing Greg and the Mafia right when it comes out. But that's going to do it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.